Well, I've just heard the doorbell ring. Look at this face. My, how this man has grown up with a single welcome to it. Well, when you arrive, before you run off, and, and this is what he's all about, just so much energy on the show. <laughs> when you arrive for your audition on the presenter search on three, you've got to take it by storm. Bring the fire. And this is what Masinga did in bucket loads. Let's take a, a look back at the start of this man's incredible journey. To be a presenter search finalist is an achievement held by very few, and it was the first of a string of successes for a vibrant young contestant back in 2010. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and I'd love to welcome you people to yet another splendor show of top billing. I am your host for tonight, Masinga Khone. But for now, please do stay tuned and we'll see you shortly. Masinga was just 18 years old when he made the top 14. Although he deserved his place in the competition, his education was more important to Bussy and the judges. I've come to speak to Masinga. As a responsible citizen yes. who understands the challenges of our country, of unemployment, of young people not being educated, mm -hmm. I'm very, very, very sad to have to inform you that you cannot be able to carry on with the top billing presenter search. Oh, absolutely. You need to go and write your matric and pass. While his departure from the competition was filled with tears, it was a valuable learning experience for Masinga, who has gone on to finish matric, study at tertiary level, and have the TV career he wanted. Ah, Crazy beautiful. stuff. Well, here he is. I, I said to him, how do I say your surname? He said, Rune Ohune. So it, 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 it <laughs> way, doesn't matter. Masinga, welcome to the show. Oh, hello. Thanks for but having now, me. But now, they said you were matric there, and yeah. today you have a beard. <laughs> yeah, listen, and it's white. Okay? Yeah, what's going on? You were, you were 19 at the time. I was 18 in matric, wow. yeah. Okay. What was it like hearing those words? I mean, I was joking, booing off camera now, but it's, it's serious business. You were obviously told that your journey had to come to an end. Did you think that you could have taken it if you had stayed in? Listen, um, <laughs> um, I was very sort of well prepared, I'd like to believe. So I think I stood a good chance. Um, regardless, though, I think the best man won. Yeah. Um, um, I, I was definitely feeling a bit um, hazy about it initially, but I was kind of like, listen, either way, God is going to be with me and I'll, I'll do my best. And yeah. you did, man. You okay, did. Well, you were the youngest contestant at the time. Mm -hmm. What was the experience like? What was your journey like at the time? Um, I was really there to learn. Above everything else, I was there to learn. I remember when I first got the email. And um, I looked at the email, and then I was like, whoa. Like, these are people that I grew up watching on television. <laughs> like who? Like who? Like, like Bailey Schneider, for instance, mm. you know? And Sis Bussy. Um, I saw her And Sis Bussy as well. Like, these are people that I grew up watching on television. Mm. And then... People like Kaone, who I had seen watching, um, mm. winning, sorry, Face of Africa, yeah. and then boom, we're competing for the same job. You know, I'm 18, these people are like doing mega things. So I was kind of like very nerve. I don't know, it was so, so much was going on at that point, but I just wanted to make sure that I, I did the best that I could. Okay. And you really did. You, I think you, you had the most impact out of all of those finalists. And I know that from the internal side, it was heartbreaking to have to let you go, but you were very young. And of course, you have now gone on to do some incredible things. You are studying at the moment. What are you doing now? What are you studying? Right now, I'm completing my degree in politics. Nice. Um, once again, I think Top Billing kind of validated where exactly I should be going in my career. Because I mean, like at 18, what do you know? You know what I mean? So I thought to myself, okay, listen, um, I could either focus on television, um, or primarily just get my degree first, and then after that I can just do whatever I want to do. So right now, do my degree first, and then I'm going to push by force and fire to get back onto the screens. I'm very proud of where you are at the moment. But yeah. what goes through your head when you know you're good and good enough, but they tell you, hey, you're good, but go home. Go finish my tricks. <laughs> um... Shabby's trying to be diplomatic. So you're admitting yeah, that I'm yeah. good. <laughs> Can you just start this? So you're saying that I'm good. I, I'm, I'm suspecting. Go Listen, on. I've got you. Just answer me, man. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know, I just wanted to get my matric at that point, you know, and then I kind of knew that there was an X fact about me, but yeah. I wanted to really, I wanted to hone that, and I wanted to make sure that I could be as ambassadorial as I could to that top billing brand. Yeah. And at that point, one of the most important things for me was to A, remain humble, secondly, definitely get a matric, but above that, like I said before, I wanted to learn. I wanted to learn, oh. I wanted to become, and, um, and that experience just kind of put everything into perspective for me. I, I have to ask, and I think it looks like Bussy really did you actually a favour there, and I mm -hmm. think you've, you've taken it on board, learned some very valuable lessons. Uh -huh. 
advice because I've been approached by thousands of people <laughs> literally in every shopping centre. Everyone has been inspired now to take part in the presenter search on three. What, what advice do you give? Um, I would really advise people to A, find the X factor within yourself. You know what I mean? Like, don't try to get there and be a Ursula or a Joanne Strauss. Yeah. Find what really gets you going. And then above that, you need to once again hone that, you know? Um, it's like any job interview. You just need to prepare very well. Um, and don't take it so seriously. It's not the apprentice. Don't take it so yeah, seriously. Well, we wish you only the best. Man. Thank, Thank you. you so much for coming and Thank all the you. best with your studies. Well, there we have it. Oh, Another man. success story. Yeah? Oh, man, if that has inspired you, if you th think that you are savvy enough to be a presenter here on 3, then be sure to take part in this incredibly enthralling new reality, dramatic reality <laughs> series that's going to be hitting your screens. Of course, very proudly brought to you by our partner, Nedbank. The first step, of course, is to register. Now, you've got to go to presentersearch on 3.com. That's presentersearch on 3.com. Register and once you're there, that's where the journey really begins and you've got to get down to one of our auditions. We're going to be hosting our first this coming weekend, 13th and 14th here in Cape Town. But you can get all of the details. Present a search on 3.com. We'd love to see you. We're going to be involved as mentors and judges. Cannot wait. Cannot wait.